Hey, good morning. Let's go over today's trade plan. So in the overnight session, we saw that buyers were more active and more dominant. And uh, at this point, ES is testing above yesterday's high. But on the larger time frames, we are still trading within a balance. And the larger time frame bias can remain bearish, even if on the smaller time frames, ES continues to go higher. So above here, the first inflection point is 81 to 83. We would have to see a lot of underlying strength on the advanced decline and some continuous buying in the other markets as well to get a sustained breakout above 81 to 83. Given the larger time frame bias uh, being bearish and also considering the Greece referendum on Sunday and just the fact that we're heading into a long weekend, I think it's still risky to buy at these higher prices because we need to see just a lot of upside momentum to really support a continuation move. Now, that's not to say that we can't go higher, but that is the riskier play, right? So if you're taking longs at very aggressive prices, then you need to play defense. But because the larger time frame bias is still bearish, sellers can be active on first test of every resistance zone, even if we get a upside break. And uh, in the event of an upside break, if we're not getting that continuous upside momentum, then that breakout is more prone to failure because of the larger time frame bearish bias. So we do have to be very careful at these uh, higher prices here. The risk is really on the buy side at these upper prices and uh, ES can still fail. The larger time frame sellers can still enter the market and push this market back down into the 67 half to 69 half initial support and even back down to 59 to 61. So, uh, you know, we just have to think we're heading into a long weekend you know, is it really worth the reward for investors to be buying at these very aggressive prices given the strong selling that we saw last weekend and uh, given that, you know, the larger time frames, like I said, are still, uh, you know, more bearish than bullish. So we do have to be careful on a day like today because the short side can still work, but you want to let this short-term buying kind of exhaust itself and actually show you that sellers are now entering the market before you enter short or you have to get good trade location. So if you're going counter to the momentum, then it's going to be important to get good trade location on the short side. But if you're going with the momentum, let's say the market fails, um, you know, up here near 79 even, right, which is currently the overnight high. So let's say the market fails here or at 81, 83, and then the momentum actually shifts to the downside then you don't have to worry about getting ideal location. Then, of course, you know, just a short-term retracement back up can present a short setup. But uh, until then, you know, if you're fading the immediate momentum, so if on the smaller time frames the market is still heading higher and you're still seeing a pattern of higher highs and higher lows, then you have to limit your shorts to the um, ideal location, to the key zones. Otherwise, uh, you know, the idea might work out, but you may get stopped out before it works out, right? So the larger time frames are still bearish. This market is still prone to failure, and that's why we have to be very cautious on taking any longs at these aggressive prices. And, uh, you know, we'll just keep an eye on the underlying internals, on the momentum situation to see are we getting those strong upside tick readings, which is really what's going to be needed. And uh, those strong upside ticks would have to sustain. It's not just a matter of getting a spike and uh, you know then there's no follow through at this point at these higher prices you know it's really uh, on the buyers to push it higher here and uh, simply the absence of buyers can easily push the market back down into the gap fill into 67 half 69 half and even all the way down to 59 61 so uh, you know it is a market where you have to be a bit more careful be a bit more selective you know we are heading into a long weekend the volume is, uh, you know, still relatively light, uh, you know, considering the type of volume we saw earlier in the week, it's definitely much lower than that so far. And, uh, you know, we may not get any big movement uh, one way or the other, but the upside move is definitely the riskier side to be on. So, uh, you know, those are the main thoughts heading into the open. You know, let's see if uh, the sellers actually step in here and uh, you know just keep all the primary zones in mind and uh, we're still going to be more cautious on longs and uh, we'll keep our focus uh, more on the short side as long as we're getting decent location or if we're just going with the momentum so those are our main ideas heading into the open let's see if the larger time frame sellers actually hold this market below 8183 
And uh, overall, let's just see, you know, which side becomes more dominant off the open, and we'll take it from there.